usually New World nations are poor, underdeveloped and quite weak overall. But in this video I will make United States of America not only the strongest nation in the world, capable to stand up to Europeans, but also by far the richest nation in the world. To play as USA I am going to start as Portugal. So let's start with some privileges. Manor privileges, religious diplomats, clerical education, let's grant advisor privileges. Right now let's also ally Castile and that should be enough. After all I am just trying not to die, I am just trying to survive. I just need a few strong allies to protect from African nations. And let's hire 3 advisors. Ok, just perfect. Now I'm going to wait. Although no, let's not just wait, let's take some actions. First I'm going to remove this ward and take park allowance and build exploration flagship. Let's make it light ship. Let's take this ability for naval engines. Exploration range, very important. And naval bridge cost maybe. And now let's just wait. Hope that Castile won't kill me. Found cheap advisor in the event, let's upgrade him. We need a lot of mana. We don't have much time, I need to colonize as much as possible before the end of age exploration. Ok, it seems Castile declared on Granada, which is no, well, actually not really that bad to me, but I want to humiliate it. Not even want to, I need to do it. We need to optimize our playthrough. Ok, I need to wait just for a little bit more. I hope we still won't conquer Granada. I need to have at least one province here. Already January, one month, and here we go. Humiliate rival. Well, unfortunate, but I will have to help. And immediately I chose bad rivals. Anyway, I need to develop some province to 30. It is important. Let's take Jesuits and I think that's all I can do. Well, it's good that I reduced development cost, but remember there is no renaissance. I will wait for a little bit more before developing. Better to spend mana to get renaissance. Well, and here it is. Now let's develop. Ok, here we go, 30 development. That was not for renaissance obviously, but for this age objective. Now I also need to humiliate rival and we can start golden era. Just need to find who I can humiliate. You know what? Maybe let's also delete this word. Not like anyone is going to declare on me. And here it is, first IT group. Well, in theory I could take expansion instead of exploration, just because we have estate privileges to hire explorers. But I will take exploration. Anyway, now we are going to finish our exploration ideas. I will choose native repression, obviously. I need as much settler increase as possible. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to establish new world missions and grant new world charters. Let's establish new world missions for more assimilation. And now I'm going to live in Americas. This stack is going to America. Let's create exploration fleet. We already have explorer. And let's explore Caribbeans. And here we go, discover America. Well, I wanted to start going to era earlier, but we have what we have. Let's explore Caribbean coast and I need to start making colonies. Ok, perfect. Let's transfer our troops to Caribbeans. Ok, colonial range idea. I'm also going to grant new world charters for additional colonial range. Ok, I need a little bit more. Let's try hiring colonial range advisor. Unfortunately, I will have to say scum for this. Here it is, colonial range advisor. Let's take a look now. Still no. Ok then, we need to island hop, I guess. Well, I tried. Uh, let's then colonize some center of trade here. As first edge ability, I'm obviously going to take unique Portuguese one. Plus 50 seller increase is a very big bonus. Let's take a look. Yeah, basically this colony will be finished in around 8 years, I think. I still got PU'd by Aragon. That is quite bad. So I need to find new allies ASAP. Let's find some allies. I need them. So in theory I can already finish this mission, but I won't. Just look at this. Plus 20 settler chance. This modifier is just insane. It's the biggest set of chance in the whole game. It's like plus 30 setters. It would be extremely stupid to waste it like this. I will wait until I have at least 3 colonists. Missionaries enter Conco by the way. Quite cool event. Interesting if Conco would convert. Well, ok guys. I need all allies I can get. Let's see if they are winning. Well, I think they will win. Ok, here it is. Was relatively quick. Now I'm going to build colony here. Let's check first if I would be able to conquer someone. Yes, I should be able to. Anyway, Mexicans only have like second mill attack and that means it would be extremely easy to conquer them. Although no, no, let's uh, colonize not this province but Havana. I will try to transfer Caribbeans to my future colonial nation. Now let's take Israel colonial companies for even more settler chance. And here we go, 20 spy network, let's fabricate and declare. I think they don't have navy at all so I can not even raise maintenance. Ok, let's go. Even more settler chance and this Right here is why I don't like native repression. Anyway, not a big deal, let's send small amount of troops. Ok, let's I think naval perish their ports, otherwise it would take quite a long time. And second age ability, obviously colonial one. My favorite region, every nation has third level fort, just what I love. Only one third level fort to go and we can peace out. Ok, that was bad idea, no it was good idea, I forgot. Yes, natives are truly useless. Of course, once again native uprising. Ok, Havana is colonized. Let's see, what can I colonize next? So I can colonize maximum 4 provinces. 
not more, at least in Caribbean region. But then I would try to colonize North America, but well, first I need to conquer Mexico. Okay, and here we go, I finished our exploration ideas. Also, let's focus now on admin. Oh my god, finally, 1012 days, it was insane. Anyway, let's stop whining and let's start conquering. Let's fully conquer everyone, take money, I need money. Okay, let's conquer, it's some money. Well, I'm not really in profit, but I don't care about money. Soon we will abandon Portugal. And obviously let's delete all forts here. I'm not rich, at least right now. And let's also fabricate claims on next victims, on next targets. So these are Maya nations, I can conquer them without any problems. And Hawaii nations won't get angry. Okay, let's take one loan and impression and sense. Perfect. And let's take expansion ideas. We need to as many colonists as possible. Jamaica is ready, just perfect, let's continue. So it's already three colonies and I can build the last one, I think it will be this one. Just so I can hand Caribbeans over to Mexico. Okay, here it is, one more colonist. One more colonist is obviously going to colonize America. Well, I would like to colonize Florida, but it's not the best provinces. Just look at this, three development ones. I think it's important to do nothing, so let's prepare for war. We need to conquer Mexico quickly. Okay, let's declare. Obviously first I'm going to peace out, check them all. Stack wiped in the first day. I even already forgot how to play as Native Americans. I guess it's not easy. Let's take crazy expansion match ability as third one. Once again, quick new world missions. One fort is switched, let's continue. And by the way, soon Mexico will appear. My cores are almost finished. Okay, let's not check them all. Not my problem, Mexico will core these provinces. Also, by the way, Perconian inheritance, who inherited Palatinate. Interesting. Anyway, also, before Mexico has formed, I will have a company here. And here we go, Mexico. Okay, I'm going to choose self carrying colony just because of one more colonist. Not sure if I will give subsidies just because I'm poor myself. Hope it will have money for colonies. And now that's where the fun begins. I won't cross these provinces, I'll just have to help Mexico with the rebels. Although maybe let's colonize Florida. Oh no, not this. Quite unfortunate. Well, okay, then I will have to transfer half of my army back. Okay, let's pass out your team and let's give Mexico a few new provinces. Okay, and almost all Mayans are neutralized. Not all, of course, but almost all. Here it is. So let's see their overextension. I think it should be okay, I guess. Well, let's, one second, let me check. Well, no, I can't really see for myself. Oh, well, if I'm mistaken, 20 overextension is one unrest. I'm not sure, but I think so. So it should be fine to declare on a few more nations. One more colony is finished. Kitsche is mine. Even more settler increase. Let's check out our provinces. Well, not bad. That's why I chose Portugal. It is the master of colonization. Well, it seems I wasn't fast enough. Totonac declared on one of our targets. Anyway, let's pass out Yucatan. Let's see their unrest. Okay, our extension is still okay, I see. And finally, the siege is over. Let's conquer. Okay, I think it should be more than fine to declare once again. Mexico is already becoming unloyal. Well, what can I do? That's life. Let's develop some provinces. Not jungles, some good provinces. Well, okay, let's swap this one. I would need to develop them anyway. I already don't need to buy new technologies, but developing Mexico is important. One more colony is self-sustainable, let's continue. Well, I think yes, let's go on the east coast. And I forgot to grant Mexico my Caribbean provinces. Okay, let's pass out to Tanak. And now let's conquer the stack. Okay, basically whole Mexican east coast is mine. Well, not mine, but mine subjects. Okay, let's grant it some provinces. Yes, I can do it. I can grant it everything I want. Perfect. Okay, now these provinces are possession of Mexico. They are not mine. Let's develop Mexico. Ideally, I need to develop cheap cocoa provinces. One more colony is finished. Let's give it to Mexico. And I'm going to hunt for seven cities. I want to discover Mexico. And even more settler increase. Let's check it out. 160. Well, it seems the same. Wow, that's aggressive. Well, not like I'm against it, but it is fun. Okay, I've got new ruler. Let's get him this mission. First, he will gain settler increased chance. Second, he will gain one triple mana. And here it is, that's what I've been waiting for. Separate is hell. Well, I have to help Mexico. It's my life. Let's kill these rebels. One more colony is finished. Let's give it to Mexico. And let's build colony in Chispake. And one more colonist. Just what I need. And now we can finally finish this mission. For plus 20 settler chance. Now I'm going to go wild. Let's colonize everything. Well, I think I will colonize Caribbeans also. To give it away to our friend. Why not? One more colony is self-sustaining. Let's uh, give it away. Okay, Mexico is free now. Let's declare on someone else. On Teotitlan, for example. I really love playing in Mexico. This pack is colonized. And I'm not sure whether I should colonize Caribbeans or USA. Well, let's colonize Caribbeans. USA is nice to have, but Caribbeans are must-have for any colonial nation. And I finished expansion ideas. Let's take colonial expansion for additional global setters and of course for the native uprising. Now natives ruined uprise. Already good. Very Burgundy have to respectfully decline. 
making colonies faster than I can give it to my subject. Okay, let's fully concrete the audit one. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Even got some cash. Well, I can go bankrupt, it's not a really big deal, but well, don't want to. I need to survive until reformation. Okay, now let's grant some promises to our subject. It already has 30 income, not bad. And let's declare on ad stack. Although the first I want to see their overextension. Not pretty, but I think they will survive. Or maybe it is not the best decision, let's conquer someone smaller. Now Mexico has 3 more provinces. And let's peace out. Well, I'm finishing colonies lightning fast. Didn't expect this actually. Like look, I'm almost already colonized Cuba. No, that's not fair. Like England colonized one province in Newfoundland and I colonized whole Mexico basically. And almost whole Caribbeans. But still didn't get institution. Okay, let's declare on stacks. And whole Cuba is colonized. Okay, let's also colonize Hispaniola. And I will start colonizing North America. Okay, now at least USA borders are pretty. Already good. No more border core, but well. I just need to conquer a stack just for gold. Okay, let's take Lima. I want to take more land, but well. Wasn't fast enough. Okay. Now USA will have some gold. Well, let's continue our conquests. I guess that's all Mexican gold. Oh no, there is also two provinces here. Anyway, that's already most of Mexican gold. America now is in possession of Guantanamo. Yes, I don't know. Portugal is just crazy for colonizing. Just look. Okay, let's conquer last remnants of Mexico. Let's see their overextension. That is not good. Over 100 overextension. Now it will be fun. Anyway, let's grant new provinces to Mexico. And that's what I mean by fun. Every month there will be new rebels. Now it seems over extension is okay, so let's declare on Tonala. Plain Chichimeca, why not? Oh, by the way, hello Denmark, what are you doing here? And whole Hispaniola is colonized. Let's continue. I think it's time to start colonizing America. I am colonizing so fast that I'm afraid colonial nation may appear before I can grant these provinces to my vessel. Just insane. Okay, let's annex migratory tribe. Don't know how to call it, it's a Mexican problem. Okay, it seems I have to turn down colonial maintenance. Not for long, but I have to. Oh no, okay. We can peace out. And just like that, whole Mexico is conquered. Let's grant American provinces to America. Oh, by the way, Age of Discovery is soon ending. Uh, let's see. We already have 30 loans and we can take 73. Okay. I will wait for 5 years, I think, and I will start building buildings in Mexico. Well, I think let's also conquer Mosquito. It won't take much time, and after all, why not? Didn't take long. Let's annex it. And yes, I'm spending my treasure fleet income on buildings. Not for me, of course, but for my... America. Okay, let's take as many loans as possible and start building up Mexico. Well, not Mexico, but already North American Union, already quite a big country. Oh, by the way, need to pay off their debt. 1700 ducats. Interesting how they managed to do it. Well, let's declare on Hassanai Federation. Let's go. Okay, bankruptcy is looming, I need to raise my stability. Let's also the base currency. Let's sell land. Well, I'm going to switch to Mexico anyway, so we can go out with a ban. Let's raise Pisco Square. And the moment of truth. Okay, here we go. Asinai is now American property. I'm just waiting for this colony to finish and I'm going out. Okay, here we go. The colony is finished. Let's check their interest. Maybe you should pay off their debt. Okay, they don't have any. Well, okay. I think it's time to go away. To play as Mexico. The moment of truth has come. Let's release and play as U, S and A. So, I'm not sure what AI has done. Let's check it out. First income. Awfully low, especially from gold. They didn't state Mexico, seriously? They didn't state Mexico. And I see another problem. Current capacity. Not good. Okay, so what I need to do right now is uh, let's grant new world charters, sort out privileges. They already granted Burger's land rights. Quite good, but I need patterns of the arts. Here it is. Let's take religious state, establish new world missions, and current capacity one. Here it is. Okay, already 400, still not even closely enough. Uh, Yellow prestige already here. I need more, I need to do something. Oh, let's check our development. We are going to the main republic. And let's choose civic republicanism as our first government reform. I think it's new one. When we elect some leader, he gets plus one mana. Let's choose bureaucrat one. Okay. Ideas are not the best. I would take the plutocratic, but exploration or something like this. But well, let's upgrade our Miltech. Also, where the hell did they spend all of their money? Like they get plus 25 balance, but they didn't even hire advisors. Anyway, aside from this, what else do we have? Let's rival someone. England. Did they build cannons? Let's see. Only two. Not, not enough. Anyway, that's not that bad actually. Actually, no. Could have been worse. And I would convert to Protestant, but not right now. I need to at least get Kingdom. And for this I need at least 50 prestige. Uh, oh my god, let's also take a look. Oh my god. It seems I can form whatever I want. Uh, where is Texas? I want to form Texas. Okay, to form Texas, I think I need to move my capital to Rio Grande, somewhere here. 
so that will wait. And I definitely need to do something with grind capacity. Let's convert some provinces, I guess. A one way to get prestige. Oh, and we do have parliament. I, I wasn't that stupid. It took one. Okay, let's cancel the current debate. Oh my god. No, okay, let's not cancel. What, what, what the hell? Anyway, okay. Let's root out corruption. Yeah, AI can't manage anything. It's awful. 78 income and that's... And that's without optimization. Let's check out income comparison. Well, not even close to Spain or France, but for New World, that's insane amount of money. Usually I would take stability here, but right now we need some papal influence for prestige. Yes, here it is. Plus one yearly prestige. Now we get positive prestige. That should be enough to eventually become kingdom and then empire. Finally, I would be able to build court houses, just what I need, ironically. Let's start. Way to go. All the three prestige left. Let's continue. And I've almost colonized 13 colonies, historical ones. Okay, that's just what I need. Diplomatic insult. Let's check it out. Where is Abenaki? Yes, it's just perfect. And oh no, Portugal is here. Anyway, let's quickly deal with them. It will really boost my prestige, I'm sure. Okay, it was extremely easy. Now let's peace out and take the next migratory tribe. Uh, let's see our prestige. Only plus five, not enough. And rivalry maybe. Oh, by the way, yes, I think anything rivalry might be better. Just need all the prestige. I don't need land. Okay, let's do it. Uh, 64 prestige, almost enough to upgrade the empire. And here we go, we can upgrade the empire. Just finally. Let's check out our Angarian capacity, and it's finally okay. We can continue our expansion. But first, obviously, I'm going to pull core all of these provinces here. It's ridiculous that Mexico didn't. And let's lower autonomy here. Well, that's already better income. That's already definitely better. Let's also get third level advisors. Oh no, not Portugal, seriously. Well, anyway, better Portugal than Spain. Let's conquer someone. Like Cree, for example. Oh, and also, almost forgot, we need to do this. Protestant for North American nations is a lot better than Catholic. Okay, let's declare on Creek. They have 5 mil tax less, so it should be just a walk in the park. First I'm going to pursue their allies, and then rig themselves. Well, I need to try to buy some maps, because right now it's quite difficult to wage more. Okay, let's annex this OPM. And I don't even have conquistadors that know how I will survive. Finally, we can choose better parliament issue. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Plus one colonies. Just what I need. You hate third level forts until you fight someone without any forts. I would prefer switching down Mexico once again. It was painful. It could have been not as bad if not for the fact that I didn't have maps. I need to buy them. Let's ally someone. Also, I have 10 admin technology. Let's choose new IT group. Okay, let's take exploration. At least just temporarily. I do need to explore. Let's go for company and let it explore. Okay, let's ask to share maps finally. I want create lakes. Oh no. What about now? Okay, here it is. Well, it, that's better. Shame you can't hunt for 7 cities. If you're a colonial nation, I would actually. Okay, let's move our capital to Texas and form Texas. Yes, of course, new ambitions, new traditions. Texas ideas are actually quite cool. They're even better than USA ones. Well, Vermont ideas are also cool, but I don't know. I think Texas are better. So to form America, I just need to move my capital to East Coast. Well, for this, I need some anti mana. Also, let's grant enforced interface dialogue. Religious unity is, of course, cool, but it's not enough. These bonuses still apply. I want less unrest. Let's also buy maps of Mississippi. Okay, uncovering America step by step. Let's buy map of Great Plains. Okay. And soon I will abandon expression ideas. No need for them. Let's buy maps of Cascadia. And one more region is left. I think that's just wastelands. Yes, most likely those are just wastelands. Let's also buy Hudson Bay map and we can stop doing it. Hudson Bay and okay, let's break our lines. I am going to conquer the Americans after all. Oh, the, by the way, the con of this government is that rulers have only two terms, so you can't have six six rulers, like in usual republics. Well, anyway, I'm going to form America and we're going to change our government. Okay, let's move our capital. Not cheap, but I want to have White House in our capital. Okay, now let's form America. Oh, by the way, I think it's quite stupid that if you are Texas, you can only form America if you move your capital. I think it should be an exception. Anyway, let's form America. No, we won't change our ideas. American ideas, well... They have colonists, which is pretty cool, but aside from this, they're not really good. Texas, on the other hand, has very good military ideas. Now we can finish some American missions, get some claims on Northeast, here it is. We also can embrace new government reform, let's take Grand Capacity one. Least insane Native American Federation. Well, anyway, let's start slowly conquering. And I need more troops, let's build them. Well, to be honest, I'm not even sure what uh, protestant aspect should I take, like, aggressive expansion is not really useful, but not useless either. Well, idea cost might be useful, but also not real good. Just not too much of it. And you'll stick idea cost, I think. And thank you, skilled my cannon. I need to retaliate. Wow, unique event for Americas. Just all the replies here. 
So I was thinking about ditching expression ideas, but you know, like, they're not so bad for America. There is a lot of empty space and policies are not bad, so maybe I will just finish it, why not? Let's annex your Malisit. Okay, I need to wait a little to annex Pamponoak, but not a big deal. It's good thing that they gave us ability to annex migratory tribes, because otherwise we would need to recreate Trail of Tears. And I think it was like this a few patches ago. You needed to move natives away. Coalition, not good. Not good. Well, I will crush any coalition if such appears, so no big deal. To be honest, I think I can go against European powers, like, natives are not a big deal. And I need to build some forts, I think. Life without forts is difficult. Like here, for example. Maybe let's conquer Iroquois, by the way. Okay, I think I should change my current reform to American Republic. I think it would be better. Let's take Attorney General. We have a lot of advisors, after all. And we can either choose American Republic or Federal Republic. Uh, I like American Republic more. Let's take it. Well, civic republicanism is cool, but let's say it's not meta. Definitely not meta. Now I want once again get free colonists. Here it is. American Philosophical Society. Well, I think it's quite funny that America, although it's a relatively minor nation, because usually you can even play it until like 16th century, but it has so many events. Well, I'm sorry, I can't refuse. Minus 20 idea cost for 20 years. Well, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Well, by the way, they don't even have any losses. Quite interesting. Okay, let's annex some natives. Well, I think I will leave Canadian ones. Let's not anger the Canadians. Let's continue building forts. Well, it's not necessary, but it is a good idea. So natives can't just sit me down. Let's also conquer this tribe, I think. Got some cash injection. Let's continue building forts. Well, of course, they're not necessary, but good to have. Let's also maybe build some navy to defend from Europeans. Heavy ship, flagship cannon. With engagement fleet and maybe fleet morale. And let's build some heavy ship fleet. Truce with Krieg has expired, let's also declare. Finally, stack web natives, let's let's siege them down. Also, I think I'll colonize Panama, uh, just to build canal. Well, you know, once I made communes, you say. And there I say the capitalist one is a lot more chill and relaxing. Okay, here we go, let's pursue Krieg. Well, these borders already look good, what can I say? Although they are not contiguous, I can't live without transports, and that's very bad. I need to do something, especially against Europeans. Okay, let's connect my Mexico holdings and East Coast holdings. US Navy is ready to start working. Let's check it out. I have twice as many ships as any great power. Uh, let's take Cadus Lands. Oh my god, over 100 of extension. Going to be fun for this two months. Never trust Auto Builder. Wanted to build some light ships to protect in Caribbean, and they built it on the wrong side of continent. Not sure even how to transport them. Spain hates me, so no naval rights for me. Okay, let's bully poor natives. Okay, I think it's time to act. To show Denmark who is the boss here. So the plan is extremely simple, nothing difficult. Just occupy this province and wait for taking war score. And I'm going to intercept their fleets. Nations started to join the coalition, that's not good. Denmark is hiding in Canada. Won't help it though, won't help it. Okay, now I just need to wait and intercept their fleets. Oh, a Denmark, quite smart. Decided to make naval landing in a place I didn't expect to. But that didn't work. Sorry, Denmark. I've got taxation with representation. True American policy. We can make peace to 20 quarter, by the way. Let's do it. I think let's take a mercantilistic approach. I really need some trade power in Caribbean. And let's take colonial expansion. I will change our policy to native trading. Okay, here we go, we can peace out. Let's see what can I take. Well, that's not much, but maybe let's also take war operations. No, okay. Let's just take American land. And natives started leaving coalition. Yes, I think my theory that natives don't join the coalition if you're too strong is correct. Also, we have number one income. Go USA. No, really, I have more trade income than friends, than Ottomans. What's, what's going on? Another flavor event. Also, it seems my flagship is gone for some reasons, so let's make a new one. Trade power, engagement with, and maybe movement speed. At last, coalition has disbanded. I think if I declare on an European, it will appear once again, but it will be temporarily. Anyway, I think I will end this video here. Thank you for watching. Hope you like this video. If you like it, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.